Hi, everyone. Welcome to the Move IQ pod. Great to have you with us. We are talking all things finance. Um, and I'm joined wonderfully again by Thomas Attlee and Orla Shevlin, both of whom are mortgage advisors at Trussell. Um, and we're delighted to have you. Thank you for coming along again and sharing your insights uh, because it's complicated. And today it's, it's a big topic, actually. It's a really big topic. I wanted to talk to you both about remortgaging and how it works and, and when it works and how you how you pull it off. It must be a big part of your life, helping people with their remortgages. I, I mean, in previous pods, we've, we've talked a lot about first-timers, first-time buying and, and the intricacies of, of setting yourself up for the right mortgage. But presumably, the majority of your time is actually spent looking after remortgages. Is that, would that be fair? Yeah, I think so. I think when you buy a house, you, you may well stay living in it for, for 10, 15, 20 years, but... You have to look at your mortgage every every couple of years, the same way you would your, your mobile phone or your car insurance. So yeah. um, it's really important to keep on top of it, make sure you've got the most efficient rate, the, the best product for, uh, that's available to you. Mm. So we we spend a lot of time advising people on that as well. Are, are there systems, or, or do you guys at Trussell actually help people track their mortgage in, in comparison with others, and, and when is the right time to change and what to do? We would contact people six months before their deal's about to end um, because that's the right time to start looking, to start thinking about what your onward plans are. Yeah. Um, in the meantime, if, for example, you've taken a five-year deal and you may want to explore the options of buying ex- uh, borrowing extra money to put a conservatory on your mm-hmm. house or you might want to even move home w- within your deal period, we can look at things like that. But um, within the within the deal period, if interest rates are going down and you want to explore options, it's a good idea to speak to a broker, yeah. um, especially a fee-free one that can no obligation to actually take any products or make any changes but can just do the calculations for you and assess whether it's worth um, sticking where you are um, yeah. paying an early repayment penalty and, and taking a lower rate or, or investigate moving mm. home borrowing money consolidating some debts so sometimes that that is the case is it, 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 it it's worth paying an early redemption penalty because you can get a more better mortgage at that particular point. Absolutely, I've just done it myself. Have you? <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. Um, if you if you took a high rate, as we've explained before, because you've uh, taken a ninety five percent mortgage, but your house yeah. has gone up in value, and now you own ten or fifteen percent equity in the property, and you've got access to a lower interest rate, definitely yeah. worth exploring that. Who who do you use as a broker? <laughs> You're supposed to say Orla. Orla, I was thinking. <laughs> yeah, there, was a, there was a right and a wrong answer. So you eventually got there. Well done, Tom. <laughs> Um, or, or any thoughts from you on, on the whys and wherefores of, of remortgaging? Um, yeah, I'll very much echo what Tom said. Um, it's always worth reviewing your options, especially during lockdown. We had a lot of people um, wanting to borrow additional funds um, to carry out works on their property. Yeah. So you can remortgage, like Tom said, and maybe pay an early repayment charge. Mm-hmm. Um, but there is the option of staying with your current lender and taking what's known as a further advance. Okay. So it can be further borrowing on your current mortgage. So that means um, you keep your current mortgage, but you'd have additional borrowing on a separate interest rate, on a separate product okay. with yeah. a sec- separate expiry date. So that With the same lender? With the same lender. Yeah. It would have to be with the same lender. Yeah. Um, and that will just allow you to avoid any early repayment charges and get you that additional borrowing that you might need. Okay, got it. And, and what happens when you move house? When it comes to move house, your midterm of a mortgage, what's the story there? Um, again, a broker can, can sit down and it, it's... it's I feel like it's quite a straightforward calculation, but maybe it isn't. But a broker can sit down and assess, right, if you if you stayed with your current lender, um, moved your current mortgage across to your new property and potentially top that up with another rate, depending on what that lender is offering at the time, yeah. you meet their criteria, they've still got competitive interest rates, um, you can do that and a broker can, can help you do that. Or it might be worth actually paying that mortgage off, paying any exit mm-hmm. fees, early repayment penalties and just taking a brand new mortgage on the new property. Um, and yeah, any, any good broker will, will do those calculations and you, you should really get an idea of which way you're going to go before okay. you start viewing properties. I just wanted to take a um, a moment in the middle of proceedings here to say a very big thank you to our friends at Trussell.com. They are the sponsors of the whole series. Trussell um, were the first online mortgage broker, and they've indeed since been voted the best mortgage broker. Not just online, but the best mortgage broker. They are a hassle-free, fee-free way of getting a mortgage. And indeed, they are the only broker with a five-day speed promise. Is it that much simpler to get a remortgage as opposed to a first mortgage? Because the lender knows you and knows all about you. 
If you're staying with your current lender, then yes, you could switch straight onto a new product. And that sometimes means um, they won't need any documents from you at all. Um, if you're going through a mortgage broker, then they generally will need some documents from you just to verify that you're kind of... Yeah. You are still earning, you are still conducting your finances well. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, if you take a product transfer with your existing lender, so that generally just means a new product. Um, That's they, pretty straightforward. It's pretty straightforward. They'll have an internal valuation, so um, there won't be any surveyors coming out to your property. You won't need a solicitor because you're just switching on to a new product. Yeah. Um, but when you're remortgaging to another lender, it is very much like when you first purchased. Okay. It is a lot easier. You'll have less stress involved. You're not in a chain and things like that. Mm. Um, but it will be an affordability assessment, valuation on the property, and solicitors will be involved. And that's okay. purely to deal with the transfer of funds and changing the title deeds from one lender to the other. What's, what's the story when you're mid-term of your mortgage, and but you're buying another house? So you're porting your existing mortgage, or you want to port your existing mortgage, into the other house. And you will need additional funds towards this purchase, do you mean? Yeah, let's say you do. Yeah. So as Tom, as Tom said, you can bring that current mortgage with you. And then if you need additional funds, you'd have okay. to stay with the same lender. And it's known as a top-up product. So you could take additional borrowing. Yeah. So that would be, again, like a further advance, it would be on a separate product, separate mm -hmm. rate with a separate expiry date. And then hopefully later down the line, you could remortgage as one and get that full mortgage amount covered all onto one interest rate. What would be the situation if someone was making a sideways financial move, so they weren't increasing their debt, but they were buying and selling into a new house? I think it's a common misconception that it will just be really easy and it's just sign here, click a button here and, and the lender will automatically assume. But the lender does in effect, although you don't see it happening from the lender's point of view that you're paying down your mortgage and they're lending you that same amount of money again. So they will do all the same calculations. On the property or on you? Uh, both. Okay. Yeah, on okay. both because they'll want to see that you're still earning the same amount. You've okay. still maintained your credit payments the same yeah. way um, and that the new property is just as um, viable for them to, to purchase yeah. you know there's nothing weird or wonderful about it that's okay. going to stop them wanting to borrow now um, we live in a in a fairly rapidly changing world at the moment and, and we've got rising inflation cost of living etc etc um, what's the situation what would your advice be to someone who finds themselves in the unfortunate position of struggling so, so they've got a, they've got a mortgage that, that, that and, and but they find themselves in a position where they are now struggling to to cover that mortgage every month, what should they do? Uh, they should absolutely contact their lender as soon as possible, um, explain the situation. The lender can often be quite flexible um, and arrange lower payments for a period of time or to take a payment holiday um, or to, to offer any sort of advice that, that they can give. Um, it's not a case that the lender's going to send the bailiffs around on day one if you can't make your mortgage payments. They just need to know what's happening and, and you can make alternative arrangements. So speak to your broker or speak to, to a lender who can tell you the best course of action so um there are solutions to, to sort of circumnavigate the problem the problem's the problem that you still owe the money you've got to pay for it somehow but that they'll be willing to talk the lender will rather have something rather than nothing so they would <laughs> rather have you um negotiate a lower payment than your direct mm. debit just stopping or, or something and um if if that situation was to arise are you as advisors brokers able to help somebody with that we can offer advice and we can point them in the right direction. We can't make the decisions. We can't promise no. what the lender might be able to do. So okay. they would they would need to speak to the lender. So they would actually need to pick up the phone to the lender. Yeah. But actually pick up the phone to you guys first and say, what do we do? What's the best advice? Yeah. Yeah. Sounds like a plan. Let's hope it doesn't happen. But, no, that's true. Um, uh, but sometimes it, it might do. As always, hugely grateful <laughs> for your time and experience, wit and wisdom. Actually, maybe not wit and wisdom, but time and experience. <laughs> Great to have you on board. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. A few words of warning. Your home may be repossessed if you don't keep up repayments on your mortgage. You may have to pay an early repayment charge to your existing lender if you remortgage. Individual savings may vary and terms and conditions can be found at trussell.com.